Health psychology is about applying um, what we know about the way people think, about how people feel, about what they do, their behaviour, and how that applies to their health and improving their health. The biggest causes of death, um, cancer, heart disease, um, etc., are have behaviour at their core. In health prevention, in terms of changing the way people behave, is likely to be far more effective than any medical or surgical intervention. So you learn the research skills um, that you need to go in to do research in, in health psychology. You also learn an awful lot of practical skills, um, so how you would apply some of the practical skills in your, your job, for example. And then you also learn an awful lot about different chronic health conditions and how that can affect people. We also have seminars where we bring people in to help the students who, who are doing the masters to learn special skills and techniques that are relevant for health psychology. So we do some face-to-face -face practice of different techniques like motivational interviewing or counselling or stress management so that um, the students get the chance to feel what it's actually like to either be a patient or to be a psychologist. The course for me it wasn't only theoretical, it was practical as well. So um, I was very interested in a motivational interview and um, how we can use um, social, like cognitive uh, theory to change behavior and how to uh, improve um, quality of people's life. And uh, for example, not only for healthy population, but for people suffering from a chronic il illness like asthma or pain problems. I look at a whole family as a unit to see how can we support them as best as we can when they go through that challenging period of teenage years while the child also has a chronic illness. Our MSc um, is accredited as the first part of training as a professional uh, health psychologist in the United Kingdom. It's called Stage 1 training. And our course really provides the, the foundations or the building blocks in preparing individuals to become either uh, professional researchers or practicing health psychologists. The psychology uh, kindergarten is run by the psychology division and is both a center for research and a nursery. For the uh, master student's placement, we hope to offer um, a hands-on experience in which the master students can test their uh, research skills, but also discover their potential and uh, have a real um, sort of feel of what it means to work in a, in a, in a real setting. I did one of my placements with the kindergarten here, the intergenerational project. I learned how mixing up children with or like the older generation of people can be therapeutic to children as well as older generational people. Or when you have a grandparent with dementia, suffering from dementia. So I really loved seeing smiles on these uh, older people. The most memorable piece of experience that I gained through my time um, at Sterling was carrying out the placement. Um, so I got to be based within a substance misuse team in Edinburgh um, and this is a team that works with patients um, kind of across um, many different points of their recovery and substance misuse so lots of opportunities to be um, seeing health behaviour change in action. I'm currently a volunteer at Action in Mind the purpose of the charity is to help people um, with mental health to get back to community and to fight against the stigma. I did my placement here within the peer support group. It was all really nice to see how people work together as a group and how we can encourage health behaviour change within a group setting. And actually the different behaviours that our clients engage with um, is quite interesting. Um, and I think health psychology can do an awful lot of really, really good work um, in promoting the physical health behaviours of um, clients who have a mental health diagnosis. We have a range of types of projects that students do. So quite a lot of my students will do laboratory-based studies looking at food choices that people make um, in different situations. So my dissertation is looking at sleep deprivation and whether sleep deprivation influences our food-related decision making. So specifically after a period of sleep deprivation, are you more likely to choose 
um, lower calorie foods like bananas or are you more likely to choose higher calorie foods such as a Mars bar? Sterling opens up lots of doors um, for people not only in the topic areas and the staff that you have contact with but also for the, the links that we have with local health organisations and charities and um, other um, organisations that are in our vicinity.